It's Miss Shops Lot here with a new haul for you today. I just wanted to get this out quick uh, to let you know that I have other videos that I'm working on, editing that I've already done, but I'm having a bit of a pain in the butt with editing. So I just wanted to get this one out quick just to let you know I'm still doing hauls, I'm still thrifting, and I have a bunch of stuff coming up for you guys. I'll start with my haul today and, you know, Basically, it's purses, shoes, some accessories, some miscellaneous stuff. I do have one clothes haul that I already did, and then I have a big spring-summer haul that I have to do. I just went shopping the other day with my dad, and I bought a bunch of really nice spring-summer stuff, which I will do a haul for you. So, let's just get started. I bought these... Dream Walk Comfort Insoles, and they're for flats. Um, I have Uggs, and they tend to hurt after a while wearing them. All of them do. I have, like, three or four pairs now. I go through them pretty quickly in the snow here, but these I wanted to try to see if they will help. They were $3 Comfort Insoles for flats. I got those at Goodwill for $3. These are Olga shoulder savers uh, for girls with big chests. <laughs> they stop you from getting those indents in your shoulders. These were $1.98. I figured I would try them. These were from Amvets. This is kind of random, but they are, they were 49 cents, and they're, uh, tissues for, like, your purse. I always like to have stuff like this in my purse, so for 50 cents, I don't care that it has a weird Pinocchio on it. <laughs> and they're all sealed from China, I'm guessing. Uh... So yeah, 49 cents, and there is two, four, six, eight, ten of them. This I bought because I don't, I thought it would be easier to carry my yoga ba uh, mat, and it's a yoga mat bag. It has some butterflies. It's brand new. This was $1.98 from Amvets. Sometimes I buy stuff that I didn't know I needed until I see them, and I'm like, oh, I could totally use this. <laughs> that happens to be one of those things. Alright, so we'll get into the little pouches. This is just a Victoria's Secrets makeup bag. Um, I know I've said it before in my videos, my daughter and myself, we are obsessed with makeup. And I love makeup bags, and as you know, once you get them dirty they're really hard to get clean most of the time so you just toss them so this was 49 cents at Amvets and it's a perfect purse size one so I pick them up like I said when I see them if they're nice because how long can you really keep a makeup bag for mine gets so dirty and you can throw them in the wash but it still isn't taking everything out and for 50 cents, I'll just toss mine and get a new one. Alright, then we have this little leather Juicy Couture. Um, it's like a... You could probably put a credit card in here. Maybe a little bit of money. It has a keychain and a little zipper pocket. This was a dollar. It has a little pocket in the back as well. For a dollar I thought it was cute, even if I put my spare set of keys in it in the um, garage or in my wallet because I have locked myself out of my car with my keys in the car and the car running. <laughs> so having carrying an extra set in my purse isn't such a bad idea. Then we have this Focus Cole Han 
wallet. This was 99 cents from Amvets. The Kohan zippers. One zipper. And then it opens up like this. I like these wallets. Um, I've said before in videos that I've had a couple of neck surgeries, so I can't really have a super heavy bag. So I try to keep things light either in a small wallet, in a small bag, or something like this. I do have heavier wallets that I'll carry for certain occasions. Usually if I'm going shopping or something, I want as light as possible because I'm going to be carrying it for a long time. <clears throat> and I like this that you can just fold and show your ID when you get ID'd. So this was 99 cents. For Cole Haan, that's not bad. This was 29 cents from Salvation Army. It is dirty, filthy. I will throw this in the washer. I know people cringe at that. For 29 cents, if it doesn't come clean or it ruins it, I'm not out anything. Um, I could try uh, Blue Dawn dish soap first, but honestly, for the price that I paid, I don't want to put in too much work. I'll throw it in the washer. I have done it before and they come out beautiful. I've thrown coach purses in the washer. I don't recommend it unless you have done your research. I don't want you to throw your bag in the washer and it, ruins, it gets ruined and you're mad at me. But I will say that I have done it. They have come out beautiful and no damage. So take it for what it's worth. This, like I said, I will definitely throw in the wash for 29 cents. And I've gotten a couple other ones. Um, I did just do a video with one else in there. It was almost similar to this for 99 cents. I got two of the exact same ones for a dollar at different times. Let me see if I can get this to show up. For 50 cents, I'll just toss mine and get a new one. All right, then we have this little leather Juicy Couture. Um, it's like a... You could probably put a credit card in here, maybe a little bit of money. It has a keychain and a little zipper pocket. This was a dollar. It has a little pocket in the back as well. For a dollar, I thought it was cute, even if I put my spare set of keys in it in the um, garage or in my wallet. Because I have locked myself out of my car with my keys in the car and the car running. <laughs> so having carrying an extra set in my purse isn't such a bad idea. Then we have this. Let me focus. Cole Han wallet. This was 99 cents from Amvets. The Cole Han zippers. One zipper. And then it opens up like this. I like these wallets. Um, I've said before in videos that I've had a couple of neck surgeries, so I can't really have a super heavy bag. So I try to keep things light either in a small wallet, in a small bag, or something like this. I do have heavier wallets that I'll carry for certain occasions. Usually if I'm going shopping or something, I want as light as possible because I'm going to be carrying it for a long time. <clears throat> And I like this that you can just fold and show your ID when you get ID'd. So this was 99 cents. For Cole Haan, that's not bad. This was 29 cents from Salvation Army. It is dirty, filthy. I will throw this in the washer. I know people cringe at that. For 29 cents, if it doesn't come clean or it ruins it, I'm not out anything. Um, I could try uh, Blue Dawn dish soap first, but honestly, for the price that I paid, I don't want to put in too much work. I'll throw it in the washer. I have done it before and they come out beautiful. I've thrown coach purses in the washer. 
I don't recommend it unless you have done your research. I don't want you to throw your bag in the washer and it ruins, it gets ruined and you're mad at me. But I will say that I have done it. They have come out beautiful and no damage. So take it for what it's worth. This, like I said, I will definitely throw in the wash for 29 cents. And I've gotten a couple other ones. Um, I did just do a video with one else in there. It was almost similar to this for 99 cents. I got two of the exact same ones for a dollar at different times. Let me see if I can get this to show up, the YKK. Let's see. I don't get... Okay. Sorry, my camera cut off. I don't remember where I was, but we'll start over with glasses that I bought. These are... One of these are Ray-Ban, one of them isn't, but it's in a Ray-Ban case. Let's see. Yes, these are the Ray-Bans. These were $2 a piece. They're brand new, they haven't had... Uh, I haven't had lenses put in them yet. They're like a red with like a tortoise shell. These will be my next glasses. I'm actually taking these in to get them filled. I hate contacts. I hate them. I wear them when I go out or when I do certain things, but on a regular, I, I'll wear my glasses when I need them, but I hate contacts. I, oh gosh, I wish I could get used to them, but I can't. Um, these ones were also two fifty. These are not Ray Bans. These were just in a Ray Ban container. They are. Who are these? Robert. Robert Mark. I give up with this. Anyways, they're Robert Mark. These are also a reddish color. They look black. Well, maybe they are. They look red, though, to me. But I guess they are black with some little rhinestones. I always like to have a backup pair in case something ever happens to mine. And as you know, eyeglasses, if you have to buy them, are extremely expensive. Wow, why is it so blurry? Okay. Uh, I got some items for my puppy. She's not a puppy, she's actually like 10 years old now. And this is a red collar. They look really clean and hardly used. But this red collar, this green sparkle collar with the little green bone, and then this blue one with rhinestone she actually had this but it's pretty beat up so I have a small uh, min pin and I don't use a leash with the collars because I feel like little dogs you shouldn't use the collar with a leash you should use a harness not to choke them so she just wears them for an accessory not really any function and to carry her tags on Next is this, it's a leather uh, belt, you know, a strap for a purse. I have a purse that I bought a similar color and I was looking for a replacement strap and this one will work nice. It's nice, thick, heavy leather.
Then we'll do shoes. These are Kate Spade sandals. And these were $4.98 at Amvets. They have a little bit of wear on the that part, but I mean, I don't really think they were worn all that often. But I thought they were really cute for $5. And they fit. <laughs> I want, Like I said, I find a lot of Kate Spade at Amvets. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> Especially lately, it seems like every other time I go in, I'm finding um, Kate Spade. So these are a pair of sandals by Vionic, and these are pretty pricey flip-flops. Um, they're good for people with bad backs and issues like that. These were okay, four ninety-eight. These were from Amvets. These look like they were really hardly ever worn, which is good because something like this. You don't want somebody else's feet, wa their walk, put into them. Like Birkenstocks, I don't know how people can wear someone else's Birkenstocks because once somebody's gotten their feet impression and the way they walk, if you walk on your heels, if you walk on your right side, it gets in there and then you wind up walking someone else's walk, if that makes any sense. <laughs> okay, um... Next are these Tommy Bahama flip-flops. These are from Salvation Army. These were $3.99. And they have a little pineapple with rhinestones. They're super cute. Little wedge. These also really good condition. It's cute to throw on. Uh, my other pair of shoes, don't mind my floor is creaky. If you hear it a lot in here, I'm sorry if you do. These next pair, I've said before, I cannot wear heels. Sometimes I can wear those thick heels. Um, I can wear a wedge, but I can't wear skinny heels. So I thought, well, these aren't super skinny and they have the platform. And yeah, no, <laughs> I got them home and they're... There's no shot, but I love them. Look at them. They're so freaking cute by Steve Madden. And these were, which were these? Oh, they were, I bought these yesterday. They were $6.99 with half off, so they were $3.50. They're so damn cute though. I'm so upset. Ugh, whatever. So I'll be giving, getting rid of these, sadly. Uh, next we have some more glasses. These I found at Amvets. It's hard to tell, there are no scratches on these. And these are Mark Jacobs. Oh, uh, there we go. Mark by Mark Jacobs. These were a dollar. All their glasses are 99 cents. People don't check there. I'm always checking there. I have found lots of sunglasses at the thrift store. If they're really scratched up, I, I use them as headbands because I like to use them to keep my hair back sometimes. And they look cute. Uh, these ones, I don't know if I showed these before. Uh, these were a dollar as well. And these are... Juicy Couture. Juicy Couture. Juicy Couture right there. Juicy Couture Eat Candy. And these don't have any um, scratches on them. All I'm trying to show you that it doesn't even have anything there. There's nothing there. <laughs> uh, these are like a brown tortoise shell as well. These look black, but they're they're definitely not. Like I said, these were a dollar. I'm not a huge fan of Juicy. 
These sunglasses are cute though, and you can't you can't see the name on them, so I'm not worried about it. Next, a lot of times I get sunglasses from thrift stores that don't have a case. So I will pick up cases from the thrift store for them. These were, sometimes I get the matching cases, like I bought a couple pairs of Kate Spade sunglasses and at different times I've found um, Kate Spade sunglass cases, I've found Gucci sunglass cases, and I just save them until I find a pair of glasses that match them. This next thing, these are, this is a, a, a sunglass case from Aldo, this was 49 cents. It's just, uh, it's brand new, still has the tags on it. So I will put one of my pairs of sunglasses in there. Next up, I don't know much about this box. I don't think it's authentic. I don't know where it came from or why anyone would make a fake box or wh I don't know. But it was cute. I would put it in my room, put stuff in it. This was $1.99 and it's, a uh, Chanel or fake Chanel box. I don't know if it was for makeup or, or perfume and something was in there. I have no idea. But I thought it was cute and it would look cute with my stuff in it. And inside, uh, I don't know if any of you do um, oils, but I have a oil diffuser and I use them, like I put them in spray bottles and use them for like Febreze or for my clothes or you know I put them in my um, vaporizer when someone's sick in the house. Lots of uses for them and they can be very expensive. I got these this is a potpourri oil so I'm assuming I can use it the same way in my diffuser. This was this is apple blossom and apple blossom, oh they're both apple blossom. It was two dollars for the two, I guess, oh no, sorry there's three. Three in there. These are essential oils, potpourri oils, and a designer fragrance oil. This package was two dollars and there is herbal garden oil, cinnamon oil, and white shoulders. Oh, so that must smell. Ugh. I'll give that one away. <laughs> Smells like white shoulders. This next one is Sweet Orange Essential Oil, and this was $2. I know some of the oils I buy are like $14, $15, so to try those for that cheap, I don't mind. This was $0.99 cents from Amvets, and it is Camillo Beckman and it's like different um, hand lotions hand and shower cleansing gel silky body cream Shampoo. I don't know. Maybe these are like hotel, um, something you'd get from a hotel. Shampoo. And then these are Midnight Monarch. Glycerin Hand Therapy and Body Butter. I don't know if you can even... I don't even know how to get those to pick up on camera, but... That's what those are. Uh, we'll get into the purses now since that's where my camera wants to focus. Okay, this one is a authentic long champ. This was from Savers and it was in front here, $2.99. $2.99 and Longchamp like anything else you know has the stuff that you have to look for to authenticate it 
Uh, first thing being the YKK zippers. Now let's see if I can, there. Can you see that? YKK, there we go. Look for that on your zippers. Like I said, not every single time. Michael Kors does not have it every single time and I'll, I'm not sure why. I think it's, I think it has something to do with the big zippers usually do. Um, but I have bought bags that don't, but it doesn't mean they're not real. Um, Coach, however, will always have a YKK zipper. Let's see if I can get this one to show up now that I figured that. That one out. Let's see. There. See, YKK. Um, another thing with Longchamp, like Michael Kors, it will have a... Where is it? What side is it on? Right here. We'll have like a rubber, clear like rubber tag in it. And it will have the, does it have the name or just the number? I can't remember. Long champ. Um, But if you look these numbers up, you'll be able to find what bag this is. And this, the handles are leather. This is leather. And it will have... think that's the name of the bag more Delta Post I'm not sure but I do know that it is authentic and it was $2.99 I'm really sorry about this focusing I'm not I'm still new to this camera so I don't really know how it works okay now I, those of you know I love to find items on Craigslist and other venues not just thrifting these this bag and the other Coors bag I got from the same girl she was actually selling this guy I'll do this one first she was selling this one for I want to say <clears throat> I want to say she had this for um, 80 to start with or 100 to start with something like that I think it was I think she wanted 80 maybe she wanted 100 I don't even I don't really remember exactly what she wanted for it but it is the large Hamilton I have this bag in a couple of different colors and styles um I didn't have any signature bags, really. Um, actually, I don't think I had any signature bags. Oh, yes, I did. The light gold ones. But I wanted one like this. Um, oh, yes, I do have the one with the white. The smaller version of this from the outlet. Now, let me explain this, too. There are outlet uh, Hamilton bags, and there are... Michael Kors store bags. The way you can tell a, ha a factory bag uh, or an outlet bag from a regular retail store bag is the lock. The lock is only on, is not on the, the factory outlet bags. The outlet bags have the plaque. I'm trying to think if I have anything close that has the plaque. Anyways, it's a plaque that says Michael Kors, whatever. Those ones are usually outlet bags. Yes, there's exceptions to the rules. If you see this in an outlet, doesn't mean it's an outlet bag. It just means it didn't sell at the retail store and was sent to the outlet. Mo Nine times out of ten, any bag you find in the outlet was made specifically for an outlet, and it's a cheaper quality bag. Doesn't mean it's a cheap bag. It's just a cheaper quality bag. 
the store has higher end bags and they're more expensive. The outlet is more affordable. Um, but the way to tell, there's also another way which I'll show you with the next person how to tell a uh, outlet bag from a regular store bag. <clears throat> and I also found out something else. Somebody showed me, um, see how this has like wrinkles in it from wear? And you know how you get wrinkles in your leather sneakers? Somebody said you can take a steamer and steam the wrinkles out of that. I have to try it. So anyways, long story short, she wanted a hundred bucks, I believe. I offered her 60 and she took it. Now this is one thing I do with all my bags. You'll notice sometimes I'll have two or three bags from the same person and there's a reason. So she was only, she only had this one listed and it is authentic and things, used bags and such to keep it shape because like I don't know if I've said it before but I believe I have Hamilton bags will lose their shape the Safiano leather if it is bent or crushed it will remain that way and you can't get your shape back of your bag at least I haven't figured out how I have a Safiano to two of them and they weren't they had like a crease in them and I can't get that crease out so here's the bag it is in really really good good condition no stains or anything like I've told you before if all else fails and you can't figure it out look for this guy and that will show you authenticity let's see are these zippers marked YKK no see now these if I can get them are not marked YKK but this is a 100% authentic bag. It just... I think it's the inside. If it doesn't have... We'll, te we'll test that theory on this next bag. I think if it doesn't have an outside zipper, and it has this, and only has an inside zipper, I think those are not YKK zippers. I think that's the only time they're not. But let's... Let's test that theory. So anyways, yes, this was $60. I asked her if she had any others because this is how I get a lot of my, when I have two bags from the same person kind of situation, I asked her if she had any others and she said she did and she said I have this one but I don't use it Hold on. <clears throat> because it has an issue with it. Let me back up. She said, I'll give you this with the matching wallet. And it's um, calfskin hair or calf hair. She said, I'll give you this in the matching wallet for $20. So I got that bag and that wallet for $20 with that. So $80 for the two of them and the wallet. Um, let me take this off here. The reason she didn't wear this bag anymore was because of this which to me didn't make no difference. This spot right here, about that big, the hair wore off from rubbing on her clothes and that's why she gave it to me for $20. <laughs> the wallet was still brand new. She never even used the wallet. So I was, I jumped all over this. Now here's another way you can tell that a factory bag and a non-factory bag, um, the way that Michael Kors is on there, when it is on a factory bag, it is a plate. Or it's a circle with an MK. When it's written like that, you know the bag is from an, a retail store, not an uh, outlet. Alright, so let's test my theory. This is a zip top bag. Please excuse my junk that's in here. Let's see. Okay, so this zipper does not have, let me put you back on the thing here. So far that zipper does not have YKK on it. Let's see if it does inside. Okay, it does inside. <clears throat> so I think it's just these big heavy zippers. I don't know if you can see it, but it is right there. And 
this one. YKK right there. YKK. Yeah. Okay, so this one, this inside one, does not have YKK on it. So I'm thinking it's just the outside heavy zippers are the ones that have YKK. And if it doesn't have it, it's just the inside zipper. The inside zipper doesn't have YKK all the time. I have had some that do. But I have all my crap in here now, but it is authentic. And this was a limited edition bag, so this one actually has, oops, I don't want to rip that out. Has two tags. It has the little rubber one and then the hair calf dyed tag. And again, 100% authentic for $20. So if you're ever buying a bag from someone, whether it's at a garage sale or on Craigslist, ask if they have any more. Sometimes they think, oh, nobody's gonna want it, it's too beat up, or they're like, oh, you know what, I do. I have this bag in my closet. I actually have two more examples in another video that I will do of the same situation happening. Uh, okay. We have this coach bag is in really, really good condition. It's just a little squished looking from the way I find it, just stuffed in a bin. And this was from Amvets, and this was $4.98. Here's the Coach Creed. Excellent condition, seriously excellent condition. And let me show you the YKK zippers. There's YKK zippers. If you're at a thrift store and you're not sure about a coach purse, like I told you before, coach bags, the rings, will never have a break in them. They will be one consistent circle. No cracks, no break, no soldered together, nothing. Just one complete circle. If it's not, question it. Um, I know a lot of people question the littler bags. If it has this tag, it is authentic. Knockoffs are not, knockoffs do uh, fake bags, but it's the little details that they don't fake, if that makes any sense. And check the last, check these digits. Another thing I can teach you is that F right there stands for factory. 